Black holes begin small. Many form from the collapse of massive stars. But some black holes grow to millions, or even billions of times the mass of the sun. These are called supermassive black holes. How do they become so large? The first way is accretion. As gas and dust fall toward a black hole, they heat up and spiral inward. This steady flow of matter adds mass over time. In some galaxies, this process continues for millions of years, allowing the black hole to grow steadily. The second way is merging. When galaxies collide, their central black holes eventually meet. They spiral together and merge into a single, larger black hole. Each collision increases their mass dramatically. The third possibility is that some black holes started large. In the early universe, conditions were extreme. Clouds of primordial gas may have collapsed directly into massive black holes. Without forming stars first, these early giants could have grown rapidly, seeding the centers of galaxies. Today, almost every large galaxy, including the Milky Way, contains a supermassive black hole at its center. Ours is called Sagittarius A star. It holds the galaxy together and influences the motion of nearby stars. Black holes grow through time, gravity, and the constant movement of matter across the universe. If you want more deep space concepts like this, subscribe for the next video and comment your next question. I'll make a video on it.